and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later over there for Sub Battle Stream Part 2. Uh, if you hadn't checked out Part 1 yet, I recommend going out, going over and checking out that video. Also, I describe what we're doing uh, in this video in more detail over there. But basically, what I'm doing here is playing against subscribers uh, all stream today, breaking it into three parts so it's not just one long seven hour YouTube video. Uh, so far, Team Chat is getting shut out, but that was the first part. Now here comes the second part. Team Chat is ready to go and going to be <laughs> bringing the heat now. All right, so uh, we are doing a little giveaway thing. See who is going to be the next person to play against me here. So who do we have? Jay-Z Wan. Jay-Z Wan. All right, cool. Got your gamer tag right there. Perfect. Jay-Z on top of it, ready to go. All right, let's... So I do... I spin the wheel to see what deck I'm playing. All right, good luck, Jay-Z. Mono White Angels. That's a fun one. All right, let's see. So, whoops. Go to Direct Challenge here. And I'll put the deck list up before. So, yeah, I'm playing a different deck every match, which is a lot of fun. So you get to see a whole lot of different cards getting played. This is the Mono White Angel deck. It's basically Mono White Aggro with a whole bunch of two drops, then with all these angels um, at the top end. All right. Yeah, it's like a mid-range mono white. Yep. Okay, yeah. I'm going to be playing for the, uh, about the next five hours. Like a little less. You know, like so. But about five hours. All right, I'm going to need to hit my land drops. But happy anniversary there, Wrinkler. Yeah, there's some green there's some green mana in the deck uh, simply for Shalai's activated ability here that costs double green. So I'm just playing the the white green lands so that like if we have two of the white green lands, then maybe we can do that. Oh no. Team Todd is stumbling. I'm stumbling over here. Okay. Wow, what a card against the Danto Vanguard. Oh no. Two land deck. <laughs> Procrastinating is just so much fun to do, though, Kakashi. I understand that. It's so easy to procrastinate. Uh, Hexproof Menace. No blocks. Blast zone. Blast zone. Blast zone. I think I'm too far behind on the battlefield to play Gideon now. So here comes Resplendent Angel to save the day. Oh no! The day is not saved. Hidana's Climb? That's a combo with Growth Chamber Guardian. Okay. Not even doing the growth chamber yet. But yeah, that makes them both pretty big. <laughs> that art's pretty silly. Uh-oh, hitting land drops. Here we go. I just need one more, and then I can bring the dawn. Hmm. 
and fade away. So I'm I am lander bust right now. Lander bust. That's land. Haven't busted. So that's eight, eleven. So not like the Krasis and the zombie can do eleven to me here if I don't block. Blocking Krasis doesn't make a lot of sense because it can be an eight eight. Uh thanks the winged temple of Araska over here. Like, their creatures can be double power. And that is something you can do at instant speed. You can do that, like, after blockers and everything. But basically... So I'm not going to block Krasis or this thing. So that's, you know, if this doubles to to 8, that's um, 11. That will put me down to 1. Okay, actually, I like, I like that line. Yeah, I like that line of... Let it, saving the Hydro Crisis to block. I am here to aid in but the assault. I was very lucky, drew another land. Share in my light. Yeah, basically Jay Z was making it so I couldn't attack because I because they had because Jay Z had an eight eight on defense. It was a good line. It was better than attacking, honestly. Like that was the, the best line. Because then, without me attacking, then I then can really attack back for a lot. So I went indestructible because this is an eight eight. So I can't. I don't want to attack a five five into an eight eight without indestructibility. But I did want to have Lyra gain five so that Resplendent Angel. triggered oh uh, well All right, well, I think I kind of have this now. I think as a menace, so I'd have to block with Resplendent Angel also, and I do not want to do that. Oh, man. I walk a righteous path. Your light will cleave the darkness. So Krasis has to chump block. Because this is 14. Man, angels are just so powerful in like mid-range matches like this. Resplendent and Lyra is just such such a good combination. Oh, 
<laughs> what do we say to the god of variants? Not today. All right, you saw the power of the angels there. Hmm. Hmm. I don't really want a Danto Vanguard. I don't know if Takatli Honor Guard really does anything, though. Oh, it does stop that the Gleaming Overseer from amassing. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Actually, let's just play more Baffling Ends. All four Baffling Ends and a third Ixalan's Binding. Yeah, I like that. Get a clip. Yeah, honestly, Wanderer does look like Avacid. No, I agree with you there. I agree with you there. Wanderer does look a lot like Avacyn. <laughs> yeah, this deck is just full of mythics, basically. So if I <laughs> last last up all day, I played you again with this deck, Kakashi. Said it's sickening. I... Okay, they just pumped anyway. So I could chomp with the Tithe Taker and force Jay Z to pump there. Wasn't like very too enticing though. I like this planes. <laughs> yeah, Jay Z plays magic. <laughs> Hide the tithe. They're taking. They're coming. They're coming to take the tithe. No, hide the tithe. Crisis? Ugh, trading both of my two drops for like one of Jay Z's two drops. Where JZ's two drop also gained two more of those two drops. Ow. Oh, there's some cool cards in there. Alright, does Lyra r stick around? Shock, so we still have five mana. Oh no. Oh no. Hmm. Good 
Guardian Jura, at your service. I believe in you. Gideon Jura. Y'all know how Gideon got his name, right? Oh, I should not I should not I should look to that auto tap a little better. I need that mobilized district. That's like the craziest story, Gideon getting his name. No, it's not a dad joke. Like it's it's a real real thing, like from the from the lore of how Gideon so because there's Kithian in Magic Origins. Kithian is a creature. Is like the creature that transforms into Gideon. Um, yeah, so like Kithian. Uh, I don't remember exactly what happened, but basically, Kithian was like. I think I think it's like the first time Kithian planeswalked. Um, to like a new place and was like kind of like you know like waking up all disoriented like throat throat hurt you know couldn't really talk kind of thing all that kind of stuff and somebody was i guess it was one of the like the bant people i guess that's what you're saying there, but yeah basically the person that found kithian was like what's your name and he's like kithian you know but can't really like talk very well and they were like what gideon all right and they just started calling him Gideon, and he just went, he just rolled with it, and he was just like, "Yeah, I guess my name's Gideon now." <laughs> so that's how he, that's how he just started going by Gideon. I believe in you, friend. <laughs> yeah, just never corrected them. So yeah, I wanted so as you can tell there I decided to you know, I, I exiled that Angel of Grace that was in our graveyard to gain the ten life before or to gain the seven life, put our life total up up to that before Interesting, never attacking Gideon. So I can have Gideon... I could have Gideon minus six and kill this token thing. Prepare for battle. I'm gonna be a little greedy and try to have Gideon survive another turn. Oh no. That's bad. That's really bad. That's really bad. Because basically I thought if I just lose the Gideon, then I don't really have anything to stop all the rest of the stuff. Okay. Um, oh wait, Hexproof? Hexproof? Come on. So... Oh, I'm one mana short now. I need to be able to play both of my cards. I'm one mana short. Hmm.
Darkness be gone. Yeah, I, I could have gone binding on the the other thing and then have Gideon exile the token, but then I'm I'm taking lethal if I do that. So I have to do this way. All right, going to game 3. Alright, is this the one team chat's gonna grab? I like a Johnny a lot. But I still feel like I need to take it take some out. Yeah, settles is not bad at all. Kind of the problem with my deck here is that like all these good cards cost four and honestly maybe even though I really like binding and I like binding more than the three mana exile maybe I just need to play the prison realms just to just so I have not so many cards costing four mana. Yeah, the whole seven land, one land, one land. Not good for game three. I march into battle as your champion of justice. Oh, target creature you control. Why can't I target Incubation Druid? Maybe I want to give Incubation Druid indestructible. That's rude. Can't even target their creatures. I am just going to get rid of that Growth Chamber Guardian before that turns into a whole lot of Growth Chamber Guardians. Share in my light. Yeah, that was a heck of a turn. Hadana's Climb Incubation Druid is definitely sweet. That is pretty sweet with a mass, too. Hadana's Climb with a mass? That wasn't ever anything that I thought about at all. Jay-Z's bringing the spice here. <laughs> Simic Steamkin. Runaway Druid. Dirty. 
I believe in you. Attack. Don't think I can get out of this. Tithakers are not strong enough to be able to beat the winged temple of Araska. Not strong enough at all. Fear the Reaper with a Twitch Prime sub. What with the channel Fear the Reaper? Or is it there's no D in there, it's just Fear Reaper? Still works. Um Well. I guess we gotta do what we gotta do. One less fiend to fight. Prepare yourself. My what? Let's cut you down to size. Yeah, I guess I should have killed. I should have killed the. Yeah, you're right. No, I. I, I shouldn't have double blocked the incubation druid. Should have double blocked. I mean, well, the Growth Chamber Guardian is going to be hard to beat now, but if I would have double blocked the Overseer instead of the Incubation Druid, then um, then I could have had Gideon minus and get rid of the this invasion thing. The bigger they are, well, you know. Gotta be able to play this Angel of Grace. Yeah, I need to draw a land, and then I need to draw a Lyra Dawnbringer, and then I need to draw a Resplendent Angel. That's not the land. <laughs> yeah, I definitely wish I had settled the wreckage in my deck right about now. Definitely wish I had settled the wreckage. Starts with the land, though. You can't do anything without a land. Yeah, Growth Chamber Guardian was really impressive these last couple games. I don't know why it's not an all out attack. I just I would have to chump block with both of these histories.
Okay, now I need to draw Lyra Dawnbringer. That's the next thing I need to do. And then Resplendent Angel. Oh, I could see Jay-Z would... No, Jay-Z couldn't have been scared for have settled last turn of not attacking all out. Alright, now I'm dead. <laughs> Why not chump? Because this is a it's has menace. And it had flying and menace. I don't have any outs anymore. I have, I have to double block with the two angels here. I, I don't have any card I can draw, though, that saves me. Yeah, cool deck from Jay-Z there. Definitely cool deck there. All right, chat got one. That's what we had to do. We had to restart. We had to go to part two. Chat's on the board. Good games there, Jay-Z. GG's. Pretty sweet deck using Hadana's Climb with a Mass. That's pretty sweet. I like it. All right, good job. All right, so who's going to be the next to battle? Go ahead and type battle into the chat. If you are a subscriber, of course, and you'd like to play next, we'll have our wheel ready to decide what deck I'm going to play. We played a really good long game there, but I was just always so far behind after that mold of five have a one lander. My hands were like, my seven was all was seven lands, and then my six was one land, and my five was one land. And yeah. Oh, pack time. Good call. Let's, let's crack a pack. I got some extra packs here. Chat got a win, so I'm going to crack a pack for Chat getting a win. Let's do that. Single combat. We want to get Mythics. That's always what I want to open up. Because I don't, I don't know how many rares I have left in War of the Spark to actually open. Okay, where's the wheel? Here's the wheel. All right, let's see who is up next. I think everybody's gotten in there. Kakashi, you are up next. Okay. Let's see what I'm playing. Send me that gamer tag. Here's my gamer tag. Mono Green Tron. 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 Where's Tron? All right, here's the deck list for those of you that are not very familiar with the deck. Here we go. Uh, this is a deck that we played a couple days ago. It's our Tron deck. <laughs> Bring Dredge. <laughs> Dredge versus Tron. Tron. Red Horde's Climb.
Yeah, Jay Z, that looks pretty sweet. I think I'll just I think I'll play that. Um, in the coming days, you know, like tomorrow or or Monday or something. But that deck was cool. Hello. Just grab the forest. Nah, I'll grab a field of rune. All right, you gotta go, like a Zoe. Oh no, is this Dredge? Oh no, I think this is Dredge. Oh no, Kakashi brought Dredge. Whenever you cast a blue spell, target player puts the top two cards of their library into their graveyard. Hmm. Well, he's got the Field of Ruin tech. Or, like, the tech against Field of Ruin. I know, Kakashi just brought the Anti Tron deck. I have faced worse than the likes of you. You will not. I don't know what this card's gonna do, but I'm gonna grab it. This is the sound of settling. Let's just draw two. Yeah, they just drew two cards. That's a two mana three five. This is the sound you of cannot sound. see your folly. I will read you the corruption. I don't know what I'm going to do with this Meteor Golem. I'm going for the God Pharaoh. I'm going to go with the Meteor Golem and then God Pharaoh's Gift. Or not, sorry, then Helm. I'm going to go Meteor Golem, then Helm. Sorry. God Pharaoh's Gift, that's the wrong format. Oh no, mill me. Uh, I don't I don't know if Sir Silent Gravestone or Sentinel Totem is better, honestly. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna get milled out here. I'm just gonna get milled. They both have their flaws. Neither is particularly good. Wow, that's a great draw. So I'm going to be putting the Blast Zone on... I'm giving the Blast Zone a second counter here to blow up the Drown Secrets. I think si Silent Gravestone's probably better against... Yeah, Silent Gravestone's probably just a better card. It's better. It's probably better against Command the Dreadhorde where you don't have to sacrifice it. It just always can stick out. 
and then whenever they like minus their Teferi to bounce your Gravestone, then you can sack it. But you do need all that mana to sack it, though. That's kind of the problem. That's like that's the flaw with it. Stop. Stop milling me out. The focused and disciplined encounter. Reupload the updated obstacles. Tron to Meditate Stream Decker. And prepare. It was. I mean, I think we only made like one one like sideboard change or something like that. Cause I th I think the only thing that's different with it is having that Helm of the Host in the sideboard instead of something else. Or maybe like a third Spyglass, actually, also. Alright. Get rid of all that stuff. You attack there. I guess I could have plussed on this gravestone. You are a mighty warrior. I concede. I need more lands. All right, it's not a land, but whatever. Keeping it on top, so it's I have because you know if I put it in the graveyard, that's one card for Kakashi who's trying to mill me out. That's one card for for them. Yeah, I think that's what it, all I did was take out the dart for the helm. Um, it makes, behold, might have had an. Is there? I don't know if there's only two. I might have put a third um, spyglass in here. I don't know. Here, check out the very end of the video. There. And I'll have what I did. True goodness never be corrupted. Turn target creature card or turn target planeswalker card. Ashiok. Our opponent's calling us basic. So I don't have to attack Ashiok and kill Ashiok. Wait, why didn't... Why didn't they play this Aid the Fallen? Oh, because you can't target anything because of Silent Gravestone. Right, never mind. I'm dumb. Sorry. Gravestone. I was thinking they could get back like the 04 wall, play that, mill me for four. Some solutions must be built. Yeah, it's some it's some kind of bug with came close, got me down to twenty cards. Came close. Some kind of bug with spyglass that that happens. All right, so I want the Vivian Reed. They can kill enchantments. And I'm going to take out one Wild Growth Walker and call it a day. I'm going to keep all these artifacts in the sideboard to grab with Karn the Great Creator.
Instead of having like one copy of Silent Gravestone in my deck, I have four copies of it in my deck because Karn the Great Creator goes and grabs it. Yori, did I do anything else at the end there? I guess I can kind of check too. Yeah, that, that's all I did. Is I took out Dart for Helm, looks like. Yep, that's that was the only thing. <laughs> 23 is not very many lands, Joy. It's, it's not very many. That's why the explore creatures are so good, though, because they clear off the lands from the top. So instead of just taking an entire turn to draw a land, you just get it for free. Mulligan. I'll take that Karn. I'll get to four lands here. <laughs> you only play lands equal to the most expensive card. So if you got a five drop, is your most expensive card, then you got five lands. Perfect. Maybe you should have kept the Karn. Would kind of be nice to have a second Karn. Oh no! Don't it? No, Ashiok. My plan. My plan was to play Crucible and have Crucible get back the land. They just milled over. That was my plan. Spyglass. <laughs> Great strategy. Mulligating every game versus the mill deck so you can have another card in your deck. <laughs> yeah, I could have just it up to 15. It's a matter of give and take. I can help you no longer. I will lost my appetite. Alright, what you got going on over here? Aid the Falling Massacre Girl. Massacre Girl. It's not good. Open. Not even, not even cast a Masker Girl yet. Oh, it doesn't have two, two black mana? I wasn't really paying attention. Yeah, there's not two black mana over there. A 
allow me to introduce you to a friend of mine. I do not want to activate the Karn on a spy glass, of course. All right, please no black mana. Ah, uh, sorry, Kakashi. So with Nissa, I was not going to be—I was not going to be putting any counters on any of my lands, of course, because because of the Masker Girl. So I was just. Um, Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Kakashi. Oh, you should have... You didn't... Oh, you didn't even get to sideboard? Oh, you should have told me. And we would have just redone the... You know, we would have just redone the match and, and just go back to sideboarding. We could have done that. I'm sorry about that. Next time, though. Um, but yeah, so I was going to be playing Nissa. I was not going to be making any 3-3s three because of Masker Girl. But then I was going to try to go have Karn grab uh, the the statue to make everything to make my opponent's spell cost two more and then grab helm of the host after that because i was going to have a whole lot of mana thanks to nissa uh, constantine do not use that language uh, please yep but ggs kakashi all right, um, let's see. Let's go ahead and get this up next. All right, so who wants to, to be the next to battle? So if you're a subscriber and you'd like to battle, type the word battle in chat to see who's up next. Um, I am going to go ahead. I should have done this like between the two videos, but I'm going to reset arena while I have that up there. All right, everybody in there? Looks like we got a ton of people. Hey, M Mank. Mank. Getting that Twitch Prime sub in here right in time. So if you if you want to play, if you want to be the next person up, Mank, go ahead and uh, type the word battle in the chat. Um, perfect. All right, we got everybody up here. Let's see who's up next. The goat boat. The goat boat. You are up. All right, goat boat. Um, <laughs> yeah, it takes the army. Uh, send me your gamer tag. Here's my gamer tag. And I will spin the wheel here and see what deck I'm going to be playing up next. Rakdos midrange. All right, we got a Joive special here. Rakdos midrange. Here's the deck. So we got Sarkins, Angras, Chandras. Reveler, Butcher, bunch of sweet red and black cards. All right, there's our deck. 
Um, I just reset, so I need to change it back to best of three. There we go. We've been finding Knight of Malice to be... Best of three, right? Oh, yeah, Bobby, make sure you got yours best of three there. Go, boat. Uh, you've been finding Knight of Malice to be really good in this metagame. Turn three to Fairy, not being able to bounce it. Deputy doesn't touch it. Mortify, useless. This is a, a good metagame for that Knight of Malice. That is true. That is a good call. Yeah, the first strike can get through a lot of things, too. Interesting. That's a good that's a good card. Hmm. I've been kind of planning on redoing like remaking an, an Orzhov mid-range deck recently. Maybe Knight of Malice should be a part of that. All right, so against the turn 1 2/2, two, two, I feel like my life total is going to be under pressure, so I'm not going to shock in for a duress right away. But the Ragdos deck is cool. <sighs> Contempt. It's going to be death by a, a million tutus. So many tutus everywhere. Hey, Mocha Max. Oh, cool. Well, glad to have you here in the, in the stream, Max. Welcome to the channel. Hope life's going going well. Hmm. I mean, the only reason why I would not want to bedevil the Mist Binder here is if Kumena comes down. I kind of need to bedevil Kumena. The problem with waiting, though, is I just gave Goboat a chance to draw a Spell Pierce or a Negate, something like that. So it really shouldn't be waiting. Because I can't take that... Uh, Actually, honestly, I couldn't even just take that and survive, so I just had to use it on the Mistbinder. I don't think I have any sweepers in the main deck of this deck. Good game. All right, good old Merfolk. Good old aggro Merfolk. So I have two cannonades. Get a couple more coils, fight with fires, cast downs, and grass. Hey, guest! Lesnia elves with radiant destiny or something interested in seeing sometime tomorrow sure can all right so Selesnia elves with radiant destiny okay yeah i'll work on that for tomorrow thanks for that donation there for the donation deck All right, what else am I sideboarding? We're going to... I'm gonna take out Duress. Man, this is a lot of removal. That is a lot of removal. All right, lots of removal. Yeah, a lot of the decks that I'm that I'm playing today are are a little old. 
Some of them are a couple weeks old and everything like that. You're calling the 7 2 Zephyrs? Yeah, Merfolk doesn't do a, a great job of rebuilding, but they can. Deep Root Waters, come to think of it, I forgot I forgot about Deep Root Waters. That's going to be a card that I won't be able to deal with at all. Really hope Gobo doesn't have Deep Root Waters. It's the, that's the, uh, if you're unfamiliar, that's the enchantment two in a blue that every Merfolk they cast, they get a 1-1 one, one Hexproof Merfolk. I will not be beating that card. Everything in my hand is good, so I don't really want to play this Reveler and discard anything. If I if I would have, I would discard the Fight with Fire, I think. <laughs> it takes... Well, Merfolk hasn't gotten it done yet. It's not, not over yet. Adept is perfect. Alright, wanted to make sure that I could keep hitting land drops towards Angrath the next turn. Yeah, team chat won with a Sultai Dreadhorde like a mass Hadana's Climb deck. It was really sweet. Alright, sacrifice a creature. So Coil um, Coil can kill Kumena. <clears throat> Cast Down doesn't kill Kumena. I want the battlefield clear here for Angrath. Well, that's got to be a counter spell, right? Merfolk are getting tricky. Never really looked at this art before. That's I never really noticed that it's like <clears throat> a Merfolk dragging an old guy into the water. Honestly, I never noticed that. I just thought it was, you know, like one, like, big merfolk thing. I guess, you know, like, I didn't have any real thought of, like, what it was. Just fueled your crew for my freedom. <laughs> A fair price. Hmm. Alright, that resolved. No spell pierce. Or, or nothing. So we got old Angrath. Looking good. Yeah, that's why Deep Root Waters is like the real, the thing that's going to really hurt me. Uh -oh. Would you like to see what's left of Scum? Vivian you know can really hurt me too. Wilds like I do.
All right, so I'm gonna add, I'm gonna draw three here with Reveler. Ugh, I have to get rid of my Cannonade. That was not a good time to draw a Cannonade. The wilds are my shield. All right. Yeah, I'm playing like a black red. Well, after sideboard here, it's turned into a black red control deck. It's like a black red mid range deck. So I'm two mana off of kicking fight with fire. It's unfortunate. If it was one mana off, I could maybe top deck the land for it, but I don't really want to top deck a land. Two lands. So I need to bedevil Vivian and then kind of go from there. Well, there's the first land. I've seen worse. <laughs> this is the Kill 30 cr Creatures quest deck, basically. Basically. So one more land and we can kick Fight with Fire and kill a whole bunch of stuff. Also like to be drawing any of our card advantage engines, Chandra, uh, light up the stages. Those would be very nice. Uh, another Angrath. No, not the duress on my fight with fire. No. <laughs> oh, I had a master plan. Do millions of damage. Yeah, now we'll just draw that ninth land. Okay, well, not the ninth land. Yeah, Silver Girl Adept's a really good card. It's a good one. I'm glad they re reprinted that in Standard. That was a good one. Good print there. I remember before Ixalan was released, we saw it, you know, Silver Gill Adept plus all the other um, Merfolk in the set. We all thought that Merfolk was going to be like a pretty big deck, like a you know like a regular part of the metagame. Ex well, especially after Rivals of Ixalan. I think Rivals of Ixalan had more. I think Rivals is where Kumena was, like Kumena and. Uh, I think Rivals had the the green one. I don't remember the name. Deep Root something. The green two drop that uh, was basically another lord. And we're like, okay, now it has like multiple lords, and it has this Kumena, and it's got Silver Gold up. It's got everything, but no. Silver Golds and Rivals too. Okay, so yeah, so it was Rivals, like where where all that stuff came out, and we thought, here we go, this is it. Yeah, the rival spoiler season made Merfolk look really good. No, it never really did. Yeah, it never really did anything. Merfolk, that is. Good game. No light up the stages or Chandra's or. Anything like that for me to get extra cards. 
All right, Merfolk takes it down. Seven and two now. One and two since we started part two of the stream here. All right, let's see who is up next. If you are a subscriber, want to be the next person to battle, type battle into the chat. GG's there. GG's. We're about halfway through our sub battle stream so far. We've tried to play about, we've played around 20 matches. Good job, Go Boat. GG's. Ah, pack. Good call. Let's crack a pack. Since we got a win from Team Chat. Masker Girl. All right. Very playable. <laughs> that deck's nice. Need some experimental frenzies. That's what the deck needs. Experimental frenzies. All right, let's see who is up. Vitellius. Is Vitellius? There's Vitellius, yes. All right, Vitellius. You're up. Send me that gamer tag. Good luck. Yeah, I could swap that deck with Jay Z's. For the, so, we started with 33 decks on the wheel here, and every time that we play a deck, then it gets removed from the wheel. So the wheel gets a little bit smaller and smaller. So we've played nine decks so far. So I'm not going to be playing the same deck twice today. Dredge. Best of three with no sideboarding. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, we'll just do best of three and then just... just I'll just not submit anything for sideboarding. Which, that's perfect. This is a, a good deck for not sideboarding. <laughs> just stay, stay around, J-Jack. Where's Dredge? Alright, if you don't know what Dredge is... We are. Oh, I don't want the Ashiok. Uh, I guess. I guess we're doing styles. I guess. Ooh, got the Jace. Window pane Jace. Yeah, it's it's honor system that that y'all don't watch this watch the stream while playing because I mean this is just like a for fun thing you know and everything. It's not. But yeah, that's it's honor. Honor system. Yep, this is a self mill. We're trying to mill ourselves and get a bunch of phoenixes in our graveyards to bring back. Put in some narcomibas into play. Get some creeping chills. That's our deck. Yep. So that's that's our deck. Self mill. Um, it's called dredge because it, it's referring to a uh, dredge is referring to a mechanic from the original Ravnica block, which was originally a Golgari mechanic. Um, I mean, yeah, that's what it was—a Golgari mechanic, which was uh, getting value out of milling yourself. All right, we'll be on the play. Oh, uh, this is not a very good hand. Having all these things in our hand. Actually, I think I want to mulligan this. Yeah, I want to mulligan that. There we go. This is the most important card in our deck. Drown Secrets. Whenever we cast a blue spell, target player puts the top two cards to their library and their graveyard. That's the card I want to see in my opening hand. We have that card we're keeping. We are going to need to find another land, though. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, so I'll be playing about about 10 more people after this. This, this is about halfway through. So just, yeah, stick around, J-Jack. Hopefully you'll get in there. All right, we need to keep hitting land drops. Okay, there's a land. That's good. Do I want to use the discovery right now? Yeah, we'll use discovery right now. Lands. I'll just take both of them. So I can cast Phoenix next turn. Or, of course, just cast the Jace. I kind of want to just cast the Phoenix, though, honestly. Yeah. Phoenix can protect Jace. You just started a random game, you're against Sparky. <laughs> That's the winning strategy. Yeah, just oh I don't have a sideboard, so no board please, and then and then you just play Nexus. <laughs> it's not a bad strat. Ugh, drawing Narcomiba? Gross. So if I go mission briefing opt, I have to find a two mana spell, and then I can play Phoenix, or then I get the Phoenix back. That's the risky thing. The not risky thing is just simply playing Narc Amoeba and blocking this two one. Let's go. Let's go risky. Perfect. We found a mission briefing. So I just get to, uh, yeah, let's get rid of these. Get rid of that Phoenix. Let's get a mission briefing, the mission briefing. Yeah, I mean, these are just gonna go away anyway from whenever I cast the next spell. All right, well, mission briefing the opt. So this is our third spell. Get Narcomoeba out there. Ooh, triple Phoenix. Uh, yeah, I'll just keep that on top. And here comes the birds. The birdies. This deck is sweet. <laughs> Drown Secrets is so good. <laughs> All these three two haste. <laughs> say that's say that's messed up, please. I wanna keep the channel family friendly. But yeah, that was kinda messed up. That's what happens when you just self mill yourself. I mean we were certainly lucky getting three Phoenixes so fast. For sure there. Yeah, that's just lethal in the air. Let's see. No sideboarding. Right. I was like, what am I going to sideboard? And I was like, all right, we're not doing sideboarding. But yeah, sorry about that, Crispy. But you're you're good. You can continue to chat. Hmm.
we're up a game and Vitellius is mulliganing to six. I'm going to keep this kind of bad hand. I just want to play this Ashiok. Ashiok's cool. I forgot we put Ashiok in this deck. Makes the deck even better. Looks like we're going to be hard casting some more birds. Swordtooth. So many lands. Um, sure. Ashiok. All right, so we will mill ourselves for four and then exile our opponent's graveyard. Your final terror is upon you. Of course, there's no cards in the opponent's graveyard. Nothing gets exiled there. We should be finding like Narcomibas, get some more blockers with milling ourselves so fast. No, not draw Narcomibas. Deck, what are you doing? Behold my epilogue of fear. Birdie. <laughs> One jellyfish coming right up. You asked for a jellyfish. Here you go. Oh no, exile. No, that's exiled. My poor bird. Gone forever. More birds. Ah, exploring all over the place. So just one per minute away from turning on Swordtooth here. Oh yes, give me that Drown Secrets, but oh no. Hmm. If I go with Drown Secrets, I won't be able to get back the... Uh, I'll get back the Phoenixes this turn. That's fine. I don't need Phoenix this turn. We can get Phoenix next turn. I can wait a turn. Oh! I need to play Narcobiba first! Dang it! Uh, I need to play Narcobiba first. Well, I guess I'm just milling my opponent for two. Yeah, get rid of that cruelty. Perfectly planned. Perfectly played. Did everything right. Yeah, I could have double cast the Radical Idea, so I could have got the, the Phoenixes back. But I want to get this Drowned Catacomb in play first, though. Because we can really start milling ourselves now, quickly. All right, creeping chill. We may have lethal here, honestly, if we get lucky. From 17 here. Um, I 
Does not look like we'll be getting lucky for that. Though, we would have had to hit another couple creeping chills. Hey, that's not bad, Donho. Four, three, one. With Azan Angels, pretty good. Good job. All right, so I have twenty-four cards left in my library. So right now I'm on the mill myself and have Jace and win the game with Jace plan. Like next turn we're going to win the game. I, I can mill out 17 cards next turn very easily. So all we need to do is have Jace survive. Which I think Jace should be able to survive, because all we have to do is, as far as blocking-wise, we just have to block a Jade Light Ranger. There we go. They need another Contempt. Alright, that will be game. Yeah, I guess all this stuff is basically staying through rotation, isn't it? Bully. Yeah, you're gonna need like a replacement for Opt. That's that's a really vital card, that one mana spell. But yeah, we we have this. Because you can just chain these like mission briefings together forever, as long as you have two mana. No more library. And then, yeah, we have no library. We draw a card with an empty library. But Jay says if you draw a card with an empty library, you win the game. So we win the game. The problem with Finale of Promise is honestly the double red. The, the deck's basically just mono blue. Uh, it's just barely splashing to be able to cast a Phoenix. Um, having the double red's honestly pretty tough for the deck. No library, no problem. Oh, uh, you needed one more land for Citadel? Ah. Uh, dang. GG's, Vitellius. GG's. Um, all right, let's see who's next to battle. So, subscribers, type the word battle if you want to be next. Yeah, the dredge deck was really cool, and um, it looked pretty impressive. I only played it one time on stream. We got to play that again. I kind of... Like, it went so well the first time that I kind of don't want to play it again. <laughs> but no, it was really cool. Um, yeah, I should play that again. Here is the uh, YouTube video of us. Yeah, this is a sub-battle stream. So yeah, I'm, I'm playing against subscribers all day. That's what we're doing. So yeah, for only for... So obviously, everybody can watch and be here and, and have fun and everything. But just the people I'm playing against are just going to be... Subscribers only. All right, everybody in there? Let's see who's in there. RG 
Capones. RJ. That's a J, not a G. RJ. All right, RJ, send me that gamer tag. There's mine. And let's let the wheel decide what I'll be playing next. Bum, 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 bum. Ah, the deck from a couple days ago, Infinite Bolus. All right, Infinite Bolus. So this deck is basically blue-black control, splashing the three Teferi cards for white and splashing Nickel Bolas for red. Everything else is just blue-black. And so what we're trying to do is have, if we have Jace Cunning Castaway and Oath of Teferi in play, then if we have both of those in play and then we play Nickel Bolas, we just have, we can get infinite Nickel Boluses um, using Jace's minus five ability to create two more copies of Nicol Bolas and so on, because uh, we get to use this twice. So that's the goal of our deck, Infinite Bolas. All right, make sure you change. Do best of three over there, RJ. <laughs> Ugh, one lander. Can't do that. So this is two lands and then five, 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 six. We gotta go to five. All right, well, this is, this is much better. Damn, the usual... Five 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 hand. Ooh, Mardu Aristocrats. Okay. Bunch of cool cards in here. I'm gonna be taking the Soren that I can't really beat. I can't really beat this Midnight Reaper either, though. Okay. Narsa can do something. So does Spark Harvest that kill planeswalkers? It does. Hmm. Need to kill lots of creatures. Yeah, I have the removal spell for Reaper. It's just that Midnight Reaper gets to draw another card for that. Um, Narset's nice, though, because Narset can prevent RJ from drawing the extra card. Interesting technique. Yeah, that was an interesting technique. I'll just get rid of Narset. Meditate and no, all those lands. Why can't you grab lands? Narset. Ow. All right, so just want to slow down the beats, getting rid of that Seraph. I kind of wish I would have taken Thought Erasure. Ugh. Gross.
Hmm. I need to draw two more lands. I need to get draw... I mean, how do you know what I'm doing with two more lands? If it's just Oath of Teferi and then Ugin, because Ugin's not going to beat us here for the scales. Hey, Yada. It's going good. We got the sub-battle stream today. Well, I'll be taking lethal before I do anything. All right. Good game. I think some some of the decks are expensive IRL. This one here would definitely be expensive, for sure. Uh, basically, like the more like dual lands you have, the more expensive, and then then like the more like planeswalkers, planeswalkers and dual lands. Those are usually expensive. The most expensive things in standard. Oh, I need Cry of the Carnariums. Absolutely. Get those in. We'll get this in. We'll get all these in. Uh, lots of things to bring in. So what am I cutting? I guess I'm cutting Narset. And... Hmm. Teferis. Elder spell. I guess one Jace. I don't really want to take out Jace. Campfire Studios. What's up? How have you been? Well, there's no black mana in my hand. So if I don't draw black mana, we're going to be in trouble. Yeah, sub battle stream today. Yeah, that's what we're doing so far. We're about halfway through. I'm going to be playing around 20 um, matches. Still no black mana. <laughs> it's just one draw step, though. I really like Dreadhorde Butcher. That's a really cool card. Always had it. <laughs> nice. Yeah, just, stay, just stick around. Uh... I may not be playing this one too long. <laughs> Looks like I'm going to be pretty dead. So yeah, I don't get to gain this life. Um, I don't get to gain the one life, but I want that shock. I want that to play that shock land out. This is a good curve. Duress, Dreadhorde Butcher, Legion Warboss. That's the thing of dreams right there. That is the curve of dreams. My dream is to draw a Cry of the Carnarium right now. No respect for Oath of Teferi. Hey, Vincent, thanks for that resub there. Did I... Is my count off? It says 12. I had count 10. Sometimes they double count people. But that's, that's a sub goal towards our next sub battle stream, though.
I'll give... I'll give my... I'll give RJ, like, a, another chance to play some more. Like, play another 3-drop before our ritual here. It's not the ideal 3-drop for me to see. Gets to draw two. So it's basically just divination. Nice. That's a card I wanted to see. It's a good one. I will spare you. In exchange for eternal servitude, it's over when I say it's over. Your cause. get to activate twice. Another time, planes walk. Let your weak mind. So we get to kill Chandra plus draw a card plus get rid of that Midnight Reaper in their hand. Sandgrass gonna be tough. I wonder if I should just just My schemes are never ending. You know, do the did this. I wonder if I should just done that one twice. Cause I guess I would kill my opponent faster, but I don't know. Drawing cards is just really nice. Next turn, now I'll have enough loyalty for Nickel Bowls to minus and kill Angrath next turn. Yeah, it's Spark Harvest. It is kind of nice in that aristocrat style deck of no fire, one mana kill a planeswalker. No that is pretty nice. So I'm at five. I want to make them discard this last card in their hand. I know all there is to know. And then destroy and graph. RJ should have, with that duress, should have taken the oath of Teferi instead of the. Instead of the Thought Erasure, Oath of Teferi has been crushing it here. Activating Nicol Bolas twice a turn. It's pretty messed up. I have other schemes to attend to. Just another land. Oh, it's Liliana. I have other plans. My intellect is without limit. Yeah. Just no more permanents. Yeah, it's, that is basically like Teferi Emblem. Man, Oath of Teferi plus Nicol Bolas Dragon God. What a combo. So after seeing more of the deck, do I want to change anything? A decent amount of Planeswalkers over there. We've seen Soren, Angrath, Chandra, now Liliana also. Mm -hmm. No. Nah. Oh, the Teferi is actually from, from uh, Dominaria. Right? Was it Dom yeah, Dominaria, right? With regular Teferi. Ugh. Basically the same hand as last time. No black mana. 
But I do have, I have the discovery they can play on turn two. Oh no, that was the worst possible draw. Another triple black card. Could really use black mana here so that I could have Cry of the Canarium on turn three and not on turn four. Oh no. Hmm. Doesn't help cast Cry of the Carnarium, but I'll still just play this. Those don't help. I have a lot of black mana in this deck, you know, of course, because, like, Nickel Bolas, Dragon God, like, black is the, the color of mana I have the most. Like, as you see, we have three red sources in my hand. There's only, like... There's only like four red lands in the deck besides like beacons or something like that. Like, or maybe even just three. Like these, these may be the only red lands in the whole deck. There's not many. There's maybe like one more red land. Through feud or all right, well. <laughs> what a mess I've made. Yeah, what a mess. If they can sacrifice the Dreadhorde Butcher, I die. I need to bounce Dreadhorde Butcher to not die. I can't kill it. They have if they have like a spark harvest right now. I'm dead. I mean, I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna be dead. You know they don't. So I have one sulfur falls as well. So there's one other red land <laughs> in the deck. All right. Well, I got punished. Punished for keeping the no black source hand. I did that again the the game two and it worked out just fine, but game three got punished for it. So chat with the win there. And chat's coming back. 8-3 now. GG's, RJ. Um, all right, ha yep, that's the win for team chat there. So if you want to be the next person in team chat to battle, if you're a subscriber, click that, or type of battle there. I'm gonna go ahead and just update and go with MTG boss. Maybe I, maybe I missed some here. So let's, or MTG bot. So we're at 13 now. So uh, VList Bud, thank you so much for that sub there. If you'd like to play VList, type the word battle into chat. Ice up, son, you're on your way home. All right, well, uh, chat one. That means I'm cracking this pack. Let's try to get a mythic. I'm running out of rares to open up in the set. We need mythics. No, not the Mizium tank. That's what's happening with my win percentage here. It's Mizium tanking. Cool. Well, thanks. Thanks so much, bud. Thanks for that sub there. All right, is everybody gotten in there? <laughs> All right, who's up? Mank, you're up. Man C. We'll just go with Man C. There we go. Ah, dang, J Jack, you just got in just uh, just a little bit too late. Is it supposed to be Man C or is it supposed to be Mank? I'm guessing Man C. It is produced, produced, uh, pronounced Mank. Okay, Mank. Let's see what deck I'm playing. Let the wheel decide. Wheel's getting a little smaller. We started with 33 decks. 11 have left us. Oh boy, one of my very favorite decks to play. Naya Feather. One of my very favorite decks. 
All right, where's Knife Feather? Here it is. All right, if you're unfamiliar with the deck, we are basically a Hero Precinct 1 deck. Um, yeah, like we're a Hero Precinct 1 deck that just has some feathers in it. We're like Naya Aggro. Poor Swift Blade Vindicator. Doesn't have a card style. All right, here we go. Make sure to check that best of three over there. Over the top. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I missed it just as he came in the door. Ah, dang. Ugh. Tournament mode mismatch. I got best of three, right? Yeah, so I have best of three, and then the next one should say coin flip. Yeah, I've had pretty I've had some good success with this deck on the ladder. It's not it's not like one of the best decks in the format or anything. But yeah, I've had success with it. There. Alright, here we go. My eyes are so purple. This is a good curve. Hero into Spellbreaker into Double Colossus the Spellbreaker. You're dead. That could be lethal. I don't even know. We may have turn four lethal. We need uh, either, either another red or a green. Either one. I would say, if I had to pick a best deck in the format, I would pick um, Mono Red. I, th I, I think it's Mono Red. So how much damage would I actually attack for? If I could cast Double Colossus, that's 8... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Wow. We could do 14 damage next turn. Never wait. Uh, Experimental Frenzy, definitely. Alright, if we draw a land, we win. There it is. The Legionnaire with the haste. Another Colossus. This deck hits hard. Colossus hits hard. All right, so we were playing against Jeskai Control. I think Cindervines, I guess Rhythm of the Wild. Cindervines and Rhythm of the Wild are the things that would make sense maybe in the sideboard. Um, yeah, it's possible I don't need this many pump spells. So these are like threats. Yeah, so I'll be casting threat here most of the time. Uh, the Ajani, this Ajani, I don't think I really want. I'm gonna take out those two. So I, I think I want Rhythm of the Wild instead of that Ajani. Cinder Vines, nah. nah. Take out Integrity for a Cinder Vines and a Thrash for a Cinder Vines. And a Colossus? No. We'll keep Colossus. Okay. 
two cinder vines. Well, we'll keep this. We want to draw shock land. Shock land. Wow. I'm doing it. So we already had the two white for feather. Go, Legionnaire, go. I like Frenzy more than Chandra, but I think you can play both. Definitely have both in the 75. I don't know about both in the main deck. But yeah, I would... I mean, I would play four Frenzies main deck. The card's just messed up. Yep, they could have... Yeah, exactly. They could have uh, a flying blocker from the sideboard here like Lyra Dombringer or Shalai or something like that for and then collision could do some work there as well. If you show remorse, I'll show the strength. I've got time. Teferi's pretty good. I was planning on playing Aurelia here and saving Feather for having Feather plus, you know, like, basically because Aurelia costs four. But with drawing an, a second Feather, I'll just play the Feather because it's possible that I, I want to, like, thrash next turn. I wish I could play Instance. I wish I could play these Instant Speed. That's how it was meant to happen. You play three three frenzy and one Chandra because you like Chandra too much. We'll play play four frenzy and a Chandra then. I certainly feel like wrath effects are pretty likely, right? So I think I can just kind of sit here with my seven power creature that I can continue to Colossus and not really have to expose an Aurelia also. Now I have two Aurelias and one Feather for my legendary creatures, so I'll throw out an Aurelia. Solar Blade. Fortunately, my deck is pretty good against Solar Blaze. Ooh. Hmm. So, do I want to mentor onto Tajik or mentor onto Aurelia? 
So I'll mentor onto Tajik, I guess. Hey, Dirk. Because I'm streaming, Bobo. And this is how I like to present myself. Frisky Biscuits. Happy Saturday. Lightning strike. No, no, don't do that. No. No. Oops. So Tajik says prevents the damage to other things. This isn't a fight you can win. So unfortunately that damage was pre present or prevented. Try this. So Mystic Blue has to have another burn spell then, right? So I know I could have Colossus to go for the win, but if there was another Lightning Strike, then uh, it's just responding to the Lightning Strike with a Colossus. Um, oh, I can't I can't play instant speed stuff, so I should just thrash there. I should just thrash the Teferi, because I can't play instant speed stuff. Right, so I couldn't, I couldn't even play the Colossus instant speed there anyway. I'd have to do that on my turn. <laughs> Thanks, MG. What? I've got it. Wow, always lucky. Okay. Never didn't have it. GG's, Mink. Oh, that was the worst game you've ever played with the tech? Oh, I'm sorry, Mink. It was, that was, I mean, I have a lot of, like, different cards in that deck that are, are kind of tough, you know, like, that, that make you, uh, you know, that, that kind of lead you into making mistakes there. Okay, if you are a subscriber and you want to be up next, type, go ahead and type battle there. JJack Jr., type it again after that giveaway started. I think there. So this is for subscribers. Um, if you'd like to take a part of this as well, you can hit that sub button if you'd like to battle. Um, hey, there you go. JJack's also resubbing there for the third month. Thank you so much there. Make sure you type. So you were too early before J Jack, when you typed battle before. There you go. You got, you're in now. You're good. You're good. Yeah, I think that was just a good matchup for me too, for the Naya deck. I I drew really well. I curved out like pretty well. Like both both those games, especially game one was just incredible. All right, let's see who's up next. We have Key Tato. All right, Key, you are up next. Send me that gamer tag. 
There's my gamer tag for you to copy paste. And I'm going to let spin the wheel and let's see what deck I'm going to be playing up next. We're playing a random, random deck each time. We started with 33 decks. Every time that whenever a deck comes up, it leaves the wheel. And so we've gone through 12 decks so far. Naya Legends. Yeah, team chat's going to have to make a big comeback if I'm going to be doing a 12-hour stream tomorrow. That's right. If I, if I lose team chat, I'm doing a 12-hour stream tomorrow. Um, let's see. All right, so we go here. So we got Naya Legends. We just played at Naya Feather. Sticking with the Naya decks. So here's our deck list for anybody unfamiliar with the deck. So we are a Naya deck with... All the legends. You see all these one and two mana cards. We got Captain Lannery Storm, Gideon, Dovin, basically all these planeswalkers. We got Vraska chilling in here. Um, all sorts of legends. And then we're going to be trying to cast Kamal's Druidic Vow to put them all into play. That's the goal there. That's our deck. All right, make sure you have it on best of three. Until I get home. Ow. Um, yeah, I subsum, that's fine. Campfire, you're a little late there. Correct. The caps have to be correct. Yes. Um, just copy paste, copy paste that right there, and make sure you have it set at best of three, at the top, as well. <laughs> you you missed the wheel of epilepsy. <laughs> yeah, I just changed it to the wheel just being black and white. I think that's better. E. Well, no, we we have to mulligan. Nothing before turn four. And even if like we, not even guaranteeing that we'll have land drops. You know what? I'm gonna not pay two life. That was the land I needed last turn. If I could have, if we would have had Temple Guard, I could have shocked in Land or Elf and then had turn two Black Blade. No, wait, I can pay one. It wasn't a gate. We're good. I march into battle as your champion of justice. Your, your champion of justice. I believe in you, friend. So lifelink is technically the best. I'm going to go vigilant so we can have this spell that we have in our hand up to be able to cast here. <laughs> oh no. Um, yeah, I just have to take up. Definitely consider just minus sixing. I will lend you my strength. The Gideon Black Blade. And getting rid of the Reclamation. Certainly considered it, but I'm going to try to be able to minus six next turn. Hopefully we're not dead. Yeah, definitely need to give Amara Vigilance. Good call. Yeah, we need to use Gideon to give Amara Vigilance. Don't don't want Amara to become tapped. Chompy. Oh, 
My sword is your end. Can't really pay for single pay, so I need to like play a land first. My hair is on fire? <laughs> I could hit like Captain Lannery Storm, which would be a haste creature here. Let's light it up. Commence the end game. Uh oh. Rut row. That's a five five. All right, attack Chandra for five now. If I draw Bane Fire, I can Bane Fire Chandra for five, which then deals five to our opponent. Oh no! Crisis. That's a major crisis. What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning. Who are you to call me mad? Um. Hmm. I summon you. We'll give Chandra indestructible. Prepare for battle. So Krasis has to block one. They they have to block Gideon. Okay, good. If they block Chandra, they die. Right, because don't you still lose the loyalty counters? Maybe maybe you don't lose loyalty counters. I don't know how that works. Maybe you don't actually lose loyalty counters. We are but moats in a vast multiverse. I oh, I should have checked what Gideon was. If Gideon was a dragon. Would not lose counters. There is no peace of defeat. I should have checked to see what it, if it said the Gideon was like a human dragon. Just dragon in red, not not a human dragon. See, like that part says human. I want Gideon to be a human dragon. I am not quite indestructible. I don't know what a human dragon would be, but you Druidic Vow. Fire can't solve. Uh, that's probably lethal. Yeah. I don't know why I'm shocking in there. I don't need to. We have three lethal attackers. They have two blockers. Oh, I should have set the land war off over at Ugin. <laughs> so Knight of Autumn and Cinder Vines. Want to kill those reclamations? Wanderer may not be bad, exiling some big creatures. This can exile reclamation and crisis and a mass token. I don't know if I want to play it still, but I'm just saying it can do that. All right, so I'm going to take out. A Johnny. Hand of Control leaves. Vraska Swarm's Eminence can go. 
Lyra can go. Oketra can go. Just thinking those things are going to be a little slow. July slow. Lyra back. And Johnny out. Hmm. Johnny could be cool. Alright. There we go. <laughs> I don't know anything about this band, question mark and the Mysterians. I really don't know anything about the band. Um No. No, Key, no. We should probably just redo this, right? Just redo this game. Man, my hand was like perfect too. <laughs> I had turn two Domri, which, uh, man, I feel bad for Key. This isn't good. Yeah, let's just redo. Um... Seed and we will redo if Key's watching. No accord, no peace. Uh, nothing disgusts me more than law and order. Uh. That's not a good way to end a sub battle stream. All right, let's let's retry that. So we'll just go to game two again. Um, yeah, key, just just rechallenge, um, and we'll go to game two. He just mold had a mold of four. So let's, let's play a real game. So we'll have Cinder Vines and Night of Autumns. I was bringing those in, and I was cutting Hand of Control, Vraska. Dawnbringer, Shalai, and Dawnbringer. So it's just not too many fives. That's the cool thing about doing like the challenges like this. If we have a game, you know, something like that happens. Just retry it. My hand was so good too. I hope we I hope I have that same hand. 
Yeah, this whole deck minus Captain Landry Storm and Huatli. Nice. You can you can replace those two, uh, especially Huatli. Landry Storm is a little better because the those treasures can be really can be really nice of like helping you play some of the bigger stuff earlier. But yeah, you can definitely just put in you know kind of whatever other legendary card you have instead of Huatli. Min Till Massacre with that resub there. Welcome back. Thanks for that resub. All right, I'm going to try this. We need that red mana. Red mana? No, not red card. What a red mana. We draw Rootbound Crag here and have turn two Lannery Storm again. That'd be nice. Oh, there you go. Yeah, Tristani. That works. Hey. Good job, Hawkeye. You called it. You said we were going to draw Rootbound Crag. Hawkeye's so smart. I just want to start building up my treasure count for Kamal's Druidic Vow. So next turn, I could have Vow for six next turn. Wait a turn before we vow. Oh yeah, Kiora is a good one for the deck to kind of ramp, kind of like Lannery Storm does. Putting a stop on the second main so I can blow up. So if Key just taps out for like the Chemist's Insight, then I can blow blow up the reclamation. All right, still going to blow it up. So can't end step have, you know, get it gain a lot of mana. All right, hopefully this resolves. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have seven. Frisky Biscuits! Updated Mardu Angels. Absolutely. No, don't counter this. Don't counter this. No. No. We we're going to have the coolest card ever there, Hawkeye. I know, it's so sad. Hmm. Nissa. Be 
You know, the pay for a quench. All right, so Mardu Angels. Frisky Biscuits, do you have a, a day in particular that you'd like me to play Mardu Angels? We haven't seen any Nexuses from Key yet, but doesn't mean there's no Nexuses. This could just be... Reclamation, Ascanta, I don't know, everything else. Wednesday or later, gotcha. Cool. Man, I thought we were going to win this that other turn, but blink of an eye plus blink plus quench. <clears throat> Cuz our Lannery storm was going to be able to even like if the the druidic vow got countered, our Lannery storm was going to be able to attack for 6 that turn after it made, made another treasure when Key was at 7. So we want to draw... Not that. Well, Key has a lot of draw steps here. They can take an Esper Planeswalkers or Hero to the MCQ. Which deck is better, in your opinion? I really see them about like the same level. I don't really see one better than the other. I think it's more of like whichever one you're more comfortable playing, honestly. I, I think they're both good. I think they could both win. Um, myself, I would I would play the Planeswalker version. I I like. I'm more of a Planeswalker player, but Hero is good as well. Yeah, I could have kept up with mana to play around another blink, but I don't really. I mean, I would, I would just if they had another blink, I would hit them down to three, and then end step they would just blink, and then I would still have to like play my creature the next turn, and all that kind of stuff. And it's not really playing around. Like, sure, this way, I could, I wouldn't have gotten that damage in, though, if they had blink. I think my my best chance is just key just breaking here after the two as I guess three as Kanta activations. So I don't really know how that's possible to brick with three activations. We'll see because Nissa gets to untap. Yeah, Va Vance's blasting cannons is fun. Played that one in in the deck some before all these planeswalkers came out with the last set. That looks really cool. Like how it has like this border and everything right now. That looks pretty cool. I uh, can't play that one yet. Need six mana. That's four mana. So if there's like another breeding pool. Yeah, we, we need another breeding pool in hand. Oh, but another breeding pool shocks. Right, because at two life. See, good thing I pumped. Played around that breeding pool. Wow. The closest of margins. GG's there. That was a, that was a good game.
See, good thing we redid that one. Good thing we redid that. That was awesome. GG's. Yeah, that extra damage came through clutch. All right. Uh, if you are a subscriber and you want to be the next person to battle, go ahead and type the word battle in the chat. Um, I guess I should stop this recording here. It's been a couple hours and uh, for, for part two here. So uh, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, uh, please hit that like button over there. Hope you're enjoying the sub battle stream so far today. Hope you're enjoying Hawkeye being here as well. Yep, Hawkeye, you're great. So I'm going to go ahead and, and start the sub battle stream part three right now. So click on over there to part three. Thanks for watching.